National Geographic Kids presents Ugly Animals by Laura Marsh. What is that? On the ground, in the air, in the water. There are ugly animals everywhere. These animals might not be pretty, but their strange bodies help them live on Earth. Let's find out how. This animal is the rosy-lipped batfish. On the ground, you can find lots of weird looking creatures. Try looking down near the ground. The praying mantis gets its name from its front legs. They look bent in prayer, yet those legs are used to hunt. Tiny spikes hook onto the prey so it can't get away. Is that a pig? Is that an elephant? No, it's a taper. A taper's trunk grabs leaves and fruit to eat. It makes a great snorkel in the water, too. You can find this critter on the ground, but not for long. A jumping spider spots its prey with its eight eyes, and then it jumps on its meal. Some jumping spiders can jump up to 50 times their own body length. On the short-horned lizard, spines warn predators to back off. If that doesn't work, it shoots blood from its eyes. The predator is surprised, and the lizard can get away. This is the short horned lizard. The blood tastes terrible to predators such as dogs, wolves, and coyotes. Under the earth. Some animals spend their lives underground. Their bodies are built for digging in darkness. The naked mole rat won't win any beauty contests, but its big teeth help it dig tunnels and find food. Underground, it doesn't need hair to protect it from the sun. The few hairs it has act like whiskers. They feel things in the dark. The nose on the star-nosed mole looks like something from outer space, but this nose is a big help on Earth. The 22 tentacles can feel prey in a flash. Believe it or not, a Sicilian is not a snake. It is an amphibian that does not have legs. Its thick, pointed head helps it to make tunnels underground. Most Sicilians have tiny eyes that are covered by skin in the air. When searching for strange looking animals, don't forget to look up. The ugliest part of the king vulture is its head. A vulture sticks its head into dead animals it eats. Without feathers on its head, this helps the bird stay clean. The king vulture's head can be red, orange, purple, and yellow. The kalugo glides through the air. Its stretched skin acts like a sail. High in the trees, a kalugo eats leaves and stays safe from predators. You can tell how the leaf nose bat got its name. Scientists think its special nose may be used for echolocation. Five ugly frogs. The Titicaca frog. At the bottom of Lake Titicaca, this frog stays away from the strong sun rays and freezing temperatures. It breathes through all its extra skin deep underwater. Two, the pig-nosed frog, also called the Indian purple frog. This crazy critter lives underground. Its short, strong limbs are used like shovels that dig up to 12 feet deep. Number three, the golden poison dart frog. This frog's bright color warns predators to back off. It has enough poison on its skin to kill 10 humans. Number four, the Wallace's flying frog. This frog's big webbed feet and hands work like parachutes. It glides through the air. Large sticky pads on its toes help it land safely. Number five, the Amazon horned frog. This frog hides easily among the leaves. When the prey passes, it snatches dinner up with its big mouth and sharp teeth. In the water. There are lots of odd looking creatures in the water. The deeper you go, the stranger they get. Near the surface, a male elephant seal has a nose that is big and ugly. The size and shape of its nose change the sound of its roar. Some scientists think that this sound tells other males to stay away. In the water, a mud skipper swims like other fish. Out of the water, it walks on land. Its strong front fins work like legs to carry its body. Mud skippers dig holes in the mud and lay eggs on land. A viper moray's long, thin body helps it hide between the rocks. 
prey swims by, then chomp. The more ray grabs it and hides again. Deep in the ocean, there is little food. Some creatures have strange bodies that help them live there. The angler fish dangles a light from its head that looks like food. Prey comes closer, then the angler fish eats it. A hagfish makes its own slime, lots of it. Predators choke on it, and then they let go of the hagfish in order to breathe. The blobfish looks like its name. Its gooey body helps it float above the seafloor. It eats animals that float too. In the trees, many interesting animals make their home in trees. Do you know them? This eye eye has big ears and eyes. At night, they help the animals see and hear in the forest. The eye eye's long middle finger helps it eat. The finger works like a spoon to scoop out fruit and egg yolks, and it scrapes bugs from trees for a tasty snack. Yum. A male proboscis monkey's huge nose acts like a microphone. It makes the monkey's call sound louder. This kind of leaf-tailed gecko has red eyes, tiny horns, and speckled skin. All of these things help the gecko blend into the forest where it lives. This keeps it safe from predators. In outer space? The water bear lives in water. It can live in very cold and very hot temperatures. Scientists have found that it could even survive in outer space. Hmm. Now you know that ugly animals can walk, swim, and fly all over the earth and even beyond. A water bear is tiny. You need a microscope to see it. This photo shows a water bear, but much bigger than it really is. The end.